welcome back to my channel today we have an amazing simple but uh, tricky um geometry question to solve we are asked to find the area of this portion okay if the area of this part is 40 the area of this part is 10 and the area of this portion is 12. please this diagram is not going to scale now let's get to work um, first of all, if we call ABA and call AFB, then we call FC C. Okay, okay, being that ABFG is a rectangle, it means that FG from here to here is also A, and from here to here is also B, all right, and from here to here is also A as well. All right. So in A, B, F, G, rectangle, A, B, F, G, remember that area of a rectangle is length times breadth. So you can say that the area of rectangle A, B, F, G, which is 40, is equal to the length, which is A, multiplied by the breadth, which is B. So we have A, B. So from here, if we make A the subject of the formula, we can see that A is equal to 40 divided by B. And B is equal to 40 divided by A. All right? Now, if we look at the next rectangle, which is F, G, C, D, okay? F, G, C, D. We can see that the area, which is 10, is equal to A times C. All right? Length times breadth. Now, we already have, let's call this equation 1 and this equation 2. From equation 1, we have A is equal to 40 divided by B. So if we replace that here, if we substitute A as 40 divided by B, we have 10 is equal to 40 divided by B multiplied by C. If we cross multiply, this is over 1, we have 10 times B is 10B is equal to 40C. So if we get B now in terms of C, we are going to divide by 10 and divide by 10. So we have B is equal to, then we divide 40 to give us 4. So it's equal to 4C. Now, um, permit me to replace B here with 4C. All right. Now, before we go further, because we are almost at the end of this video. If this is the first time you are seeing this channel, this is the first time you are meeting us. Please click that subscription button, turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our videos at all. So that anytime we upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. Give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing. If you are my subscriber already, thank you so much for your support and love. Always tell us what you feel about what we are doing on the comment section. Correct us there. Also, we will hit the corrections, okay? Thank you so much. Now, we have that B is equal to 4C, which I have replaced here. Now, remember that FC is equal to GD, right? So, it means that GD is equal to C. So, we have C here. Now, I think it's time to clean all these things. We don't really need them anymore, I guess. We are done with you. So please leave the board for us. All right? Okay. Yeah. So having cleared the unwanted materials, <laughs> don't mind me. Let's be serious. Okay. Now, let us draw out B, D, E. Triangle B, D, E. Remember that if this is 90, this is 90 degrees as well. Okay? So let's draw this triangle out and see what we can get from it. 
okay so this is the side we are looking for let's call it x okay let's call the unknown part x this is b this is d this is e now this is 90 degrees this is 90 degrees as well all right now this is 12 this is 4c and this is c now i want us to look closely this is g you can see that these two triangles are similar triangles yes they are similar because when you look at them like this you can see that they both share the same triangle b so angle b is common to both of them and both have what this is 90 degrees this is 90 degrees okay those sides are equal as well even this angle is also equal to this angle corresponding angles yes because if you extrapolate this and extrapolate that you can see that this is what a transversal between these two uh, parallel lines okay so these two angles are corresponding angles and they must be equal having said that we can now conclude confidently that triangle okay this is h that triangle bgh is similar to triangle bde all right okay now if we make use of an um, area scale factor the area scale factor okay area scale factor says that in these two triangles that are um similar the ratio of their areas is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides okay the ratio of their areas will be equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides so if you look at this bgh bgh the area of bgh is x over the area of bde bde okay is what x plus 12 right is equal to the ratio the square of the ratio of their corresponding signs now their corresponding signs is let's take 4c and c since that is the only side that we have parameters for so it's going to be 4c for bgh over for bde this side is 4c plus c all squared all right so now permit me to clean this so that we have enough space to work with thank you if you actually watched to this point thank you so much i appreciate now here we have x divided by x plus 12 is equal to 4c divided by 4c plus c oh i don't know why i'm sorry about that i have enough space and i decided to be doing this thing okay, okay let's continue x over x plus 12 is equal to 4c over 5c because 4c plus c is 5c oh it's great so we have x plus x plus 12 is equal to now this we remove this so we have 4 over 5 all squared remember that a over b squared is equal to a squared divided by b squared so it means that we can write this as x divided by x plus 12 is equal to 16 divided by 25 now if we cross multiply we will have 16 brackets x plus 12 is equal to x times 25 which is 25 x so 16 times x we give us 16 x plus 12 times 16 let's solve 6 times 2 is 12 6 times 1 is 6 plus 1 7 1 times 12 is still give us 12 
So we have two, we have nine, we have one. So we have one, nine, two is equal to 25 X. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So um, let's transfer this to the other side. If we do that, we have one, nine, two is equal to 25 X minus 16 X. So we have one, nine, two is equal to 15 minus 6 is 9. So we have 9. 25 minus 16 should give us 9. Yeah, it's correct. I don't know why I'm confused. <laughs> so we have 9x. So to get the value now, let me see if this is divisible by 3. 1 plus 9 is 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. So since this is 12, the sum, it means that this is divisible by 3. So let's divide both sides by 3. So divided by 3, divided by 3. 3, we divide 19 to give us 6, 6, remainder 1. Divide 12 to give us 4. 3, we divide this to give us 3x. Okay? So we have 64 over 3. Sorry. We have 64 is equal to 3x. So 6 plus 4 is 10, not divisible by 3. So we can say that x is 64 over 3 square units. I don't have calculator here. So I would have left the answer in decimal. So we can do that. When 6 is divided by 3, we have 2. When 4 is divided by 3, we have 1, 1, remainder 1. Divide 10.